Well, the lecture today, as you can see, Matt Farbosa is going to talk about um, the American elections and to be precise, Obama, his future, his chances, and more, more importantly maybe, why most Republican candidates are such fools. <laughs> Please, ladies and gentlemen, applaud for Matt Farbosa. I have to use this uh, weird microphone. It's a cross between a microphone and a table lamp. <laughs> but that's nothing special for Utrecht University, where the mics always have been a disaster since the early 70s. And evidently, I've now been pensioned off for 30 years, but nothing has changed. When it comes to microphones and acoustics and things like that, we are living in the late Middle Ages in Utrecht. And as you know, it's a late medieval town, actually, so maybe that's the reason. Um, I hope my arm will function at least for about 40 minutes. Otherwise, I have to ask for somebody who to keep up the microphone for me and I move around. And um, yeah, it seems that I have to speak English. Uh, how many people here don't understand anything in Dutch? Oh. Oh. How many of you are native Dutch speakers? <laughs> yeah, see, it's the same always when in the Netherlands you have to speak Dutch. I remember a strange case in The Hague where, where I should speak English. It was very important. They said I had to speak English and they phoned me beforehand. They wrote an important official letter and so I spoke English the whole afternoon. And then I thought, well, let's ask them what I've just asked you. And it turned out that there was just one Irish boy <laughs> who understood Dutch quite well. <laughs> because he had a Dutch girlfriend. So how many of the non-native Dutch speakers have a Dutch girlfriend? <laughs> Not that many. Oh, oh, you are the only guy so charming that you actually picked up a Dutch girlfriend. <laughs> and they have to behave so weird and strange and foreign that they are unable to pick up Dutch girls. Yeah, they were all PVV girls. <laughs> Okay, so uh, it seems I have to speak English, I will speak English. Once in a while I will use the Dutch word and then you have to uh, speak into the ear of your neighbor the English translation. Or I will ask for the English translation. But first I would like to have a kind of opinion poll. Uh, are there any Americans here? Any? Oh. Well, not that many, but still some Americans. You're, you're, a, you're a privileged group when it comes to this opinion poll. But let's suppose that we are all American citizens now, which means that all of you have been born in the United States or from United States citizens somewhere outside of the United States. Who thinks that Barack Obama is going to win the elections in November? Okay. He seems to have a good chance. Okay. Who thinks that a Republican is going to win in November? Uh, okay. Could you come here for just for a minute? <laughs> and, and explain to me in two sentences why a Republican is going to win. We keep it neutral, we don't know which Republican, but a Republican. Are you, by the way, an, an, an American citizen? No? Where did you come from? Netherlands. Okay, you come from the Netherlands. Okay, well, explain it please to why Obama is going to lose. Because Americans are Republicans in some weird sense, and would love Obama to win, but I think Republicans will win this time. Okay. You're, you're a, you can sit. 
I'm not completely convinced by your argument. <laughs> Maybe we could conclude if the Republicans were less idiotic than they seem to be, then maybe they would have a good chance. That's what we are going to discuss this evening. Um, who do you think will be the um, Republican candidate? Mitt Romney? Yes. Fingers for, for Mitt Romney. Okay. Still Mitt Romney. Who is thinking that maybe Rick Santorum? He's going to win just two or three, no, not that many. Maybe he will emigrate to the Netherlands uh, to save all these older Dutch people from their terrible, terrible death by euthanasia. He seems to have quite a large family, so they can do a lot of good work, uh, as far as I can see. Well, I suppose you reflect the general opinions about the, uh, about the coming election. Obama's going to win, and Mitt Romney will be the Republican candidate. Uh, Mitt Romney is a rather weak candidate, and weaker by the day, in a sense, because the other Republican candidates try to kill his chances and his ideas, which is not that, that, was not that difficult. Um, but, yeah, as you uh, probably know, uh, there are about eight months between now and, and the elections in November. In eight months, a lot of things can happen. And maybe we should say, is Obama going to win? Probably, but, but let's make it 75%, uh, 25%, which gives the Republicans still be a small chance, but a chance to win the elections. Nobody, of course, who is of the same mind hopes that the Republicans are going to win the election. And, and even four years ago, when Obama won the election with 53% of the vote, uh, we have to remember that John McCain, who was a man much too old to be a presidential candidate, his, his brain was already deteriorating. <laughs> in a rather serious way. <laughs> I'm not going to give you any, any evidence, but I can assure you that was the case. And still 47% of the American voters actually voted for this guy. And so, the guy who came on the podium and who said that the Americans are such terrible idiots that nothing is impossible, to some extent is right. And maybe we can conclude that the American political system has been on the wrong way and developing in the wrong direction for at least 30 years. And nowadays, of course, as you know, uh, two political parties in the United States are much more political parties, but are only two important political parties and that great loss, a great loss for their political system is the fact that one of these political parties consists mainly of idiots. Isn't it strange that we consider Mitt Romney a moderate Republican? I don't know if you have listened to his rhetoric, but if this guy is a moderate, what can we say about the rest? That they come from that 